Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 462. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. So let's hop right into it. So first news is, Generation 5 My Little Pony will be the main five. New image of Easy, Pip, Zip, Hitch, and Sunny released. So, the official My Little Pony Facebook has revealed that the five revealed characters so far are our official main cast, at least for the movie. This could always change in the actual series following it, but we will have to wait and see on that front. Unfortunately, this kind of squashes the Bat and Kirin rumors. How sad. Anyways, go get new shots of all of them below. So, let's say hello to Zip, Pip, Izzy, Hitch, and Sunny. So, I do find this team dynamic interesting. Um, the main five, or the how to put this? Um, yeah, the the, the the main five is like one of those superhero team ups. Um, a, a good example is Power Rangers. Um, Justice League, or oh, is this Justice League seven or five? I I don't remember. But still, um, team team uh, groupings are pretty interesting because well the dynamic of the characters. But I do find it strange for ponies because from what I seen, I, I'm trying to think really hard on this because G one is also a factor here. But you know. Let's go for the fact that, not including previous generations, G4 has been running with the whole pairing team. And that's two unicorns, two pegasi, and two earth ponies. With, with all of them having different sort of personalities and interests. So, that is kind of interesting in that sense. And as time goes on, we get to learn more about them, their likes and dislikes, their motivations, and so on. So, over here, we are given or sprinkle a bit of info of what our characters here are. For example, Zip and Pip here are siblings. Easy here is the only unicorn in the group. Hitch is the only male in the group. And Sunny here is an Earth Pony, similar to Hitch. So, here's the thing, like, what do we know of them for now? <clears throat> In Sunny's case, we do know that she is a huge fan of the main six, and idolizes them, I think. I'm not 100% sure she adores or idolizes, or wants to be them. Either or. Uh, Hitch here is the only male character out of the group and I think that kind of sets him apart from them and that's kind of a blessing and it's a curse and a blessing at the same time like the the, the most defining fact uh, <clears throat> the most defining factor for you as a character is your gender and that is r really I won't say dumb. Dumb is a dumb is not the right word. It's really short-sighted if they're not going to do anything more with it. Because here's the thing: uh, Mario Pony Tales G Two is one of those episodes where they introduce male ponies into the group or into the story, but they're so generic that it's virtually forgettable. Like you have your rough and tough guy kind of character, your bookworm. I mean, there, there's a lot. I, I don't remember, but from what I remember, it's pretty interesting. So, Easy here being the only unicorn in the group is one of those things where, what does this mean? Uh, is she going to be a trope character or are we going to get introduced to another one in the series? We got no idea. So, Pip and Easy here being siblings, so you have that sibling rivalry dynamic or sibling, sibling, what you call this, um, care kind of thing. So that's going to be very interesting. And 
Here's the thing. Pip's wings here are very fluffy. Very, very fluffy. So, what's what's that all about? What was the whole story behind that? So, I do find that the characters here are really interesting in that sense where we have a new universe, essentially. We got no idea what the world's going to be like. We got no idea how they're going to operate. But from what we already know, uh, this is going to be this, this is going to be that, and so on. So I do want to see them shatter. <clears throat> Sorry, I do want to see them shatter expectations because we already know this, but I want them to challenge it. I want them to tell us that you may know things from G four, but going through G five is going to be a whole other ball game. And at the same time, too, it's the fact that is G. Five even in the same timeline or world as G four, because that's that's been a contention in the fandom. Uh, people are debating: Are they the same? Are they not? What is this? Uh, and so on. So I do find it very interesting, and I do want to see where they take it. Sorry. Anyway, let's move on to the next news. New pip pose and similes, sim, similes outdated schedule for the My Little Pony movie number uh, movie number two arrives. <clears throat> so Russia had their annual licensing expo, and with it came a few pony side sites over the Hasbro world. From what we've seen in the presentation, we had a rough schedule. Release that listed a teaser that was supposed to drop in April, but didn't unless it's planned for early May instead. Along with an actual full theater set of for June or July, we have to keep an eye out for it. Either that or the Instagram thing that they posted after the toy fair was a. Teaser, Hasbro works in mysterious ways. The real news is Pip is here getting new poses. So back in uh, that and discuss below. So yeah, um, I don't know. I don't read Russian, so I got no idea. But from what I do know, that we have months and a chart. So. I'm guessing season two is supposed to be out in March of two thousand twenty-one. That is true for some countries. I do see episode synopsis and stuff coming out. That is true. April, the top secret and confidential thing that could be the trailer and whatnot, but we still haven't get gotten anything out of it yet. And a movie probably coming out in June or July, and the series might be coming out in September or August. Sorry, October. So, from what I can tell here, it's rather it's a rather interesting timeline. Oh, the last one I got no idea. Maybe the end of Pony Life, um, maybe in November or December. Probably I got no idea, but. See, here's the thing. Um, I'm going to focus on the uh, movie and the series. So, if the movie does come out in June or July, and the that means that there is a quote unquote one or two months gap in between, or maybe probably three months gap between uh, the movie and the new series. We got no idea how many seasons is going to be. It could be one of those. Twelve, twelve things where uh, Hasbro just wants to show the audience. Okay, this is the first half of uh, season. Ooh, sorry, uh, this is the first half of season five or generation five. Season one, generation five. Yes, that's the word. So this is going to be the first half. How do you like it? And whatnot. Engage from there. Then they'll uh, move 
to the second part, like some other shows been doing on the Netflix. So we will have to wait and see. I do find it very interesting that uh, we do have a, what a channel E One. I'm guessing that's a Russian channel. Same like what the Discovery family and stuff. So with that, we got no idea. Um, okay, okay, we got a base idea of what they're trying to do. Uh, let's see the uh, comments. Uh, okay, so da, 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 da. Where, 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 where. Uh, <clears throat> so Hasbro learned from the, 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 nope 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 nope. I saw something very interesting. Okay, the earnings report happened April two thousand. Man, I don't know how to read this. Ah well, you know where to find the chats. So go go there and have fun. So yeah, um, this is one of those things where. We'll have to wait and see. The new the new um thing to take from is just built with a visible feather wings. Like those are really soft. But anywho, let's move on to the next topic. And next topic is what have I been doing my week? So I'm guessing you're probably wondering, like, yo, Norman, what happened? Like last week we didn't came out with an episode or an episode review. So, <coughs> I have some explaining to do. And first up is news. Um, for the news podcast, I, when I was searching through, I only saw one news that popped up. And it's one of those things where, hmm, do I want to report on one of this now or stack them so I can carry it forward? And I decided to carry it forward because if I were to just report on one news, the show is going to be short and I kind of have to pull at straws, a straw or string, whatever it is the phrase is, and just try to just try to pull the length of the episode to a very satisfying amount. But also I'll be talking about one topic and whatnot, so <coughs> I thought that now nah, let, let's give it a break for a bit and see how it works. Do tell me down in the comment below. Uh, and as for the movie reviews, oh no, sorry, um, the episode reviews and whatnot, um, we kind of had a schedule conflict where we didn't kind of made it in time and stuff. Like Terra has his thing, I had my personal things to do. So we kind of said, you know what, let's reschedule and do something after. So we kind of did. <laughs> and we took a break for a bit, you know, just to recharge our batteries and stuff. Uh, I think what we kind of said that after recording, you know, I, I, I too to forget. So for now, I'm just going to defer to what we did in the podcast so uh, this week we'll have a episode review for you uh, it's going to be the pony life episode so yay that's going to be fun and well uh, listening to that podcast to find out what we are going to review for next week so yeah uh, <coughs> housekeeping and explaining aside uh, what have i been my week well, in all honesty, nothing much. Like, I'm just uh, doing the whole staying at home and stuff and going out only when I need to and stuff. Also, uh, my local game shop is doing a Magic the Gathering Commander League and that's been keeping me pretty distracted. I love the idea of just deck building like sitting down creating a deck and just trying my best to kind of play the game and it's been what four five weeks now i only miss one so uh a total of four games for me it's it's six weeks something like that i, I don't know in what 
three ah I forgot we're on week five now so do the math i've done what three games miss one so yeah uh we're on week five now gonna be my fourth game so it's fun and you're probably wondering what's up with this thing why why am i so distracted by it and the whole league format is that the organizer uh decides certain teams for the uh what you might call this game and every week we are we are expected to build a new deck to perform in the game and i love building new decks i i i love sitting down looking at lists and trying to make them fun work together and whatnot like i, I it's a puzzle for me i i do like trying to build the deck to make it work and yeah uh in all honesty it's a lot of fun i i do enjoy the game so for this i i <laughs> that, that's what's been keeping me distracted and whatnot but i have to i have responsibility so work and mbs show and stuff so i have I, i'll try and discipline myself but that doesn't mean i am slacking off i am working for you guys to do stuff awesomely <laughs> But anywho, <clears throat> let's wrap things up. If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dimitrogmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and also Stitch Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on polylive.com. Links will be in the show notes. Also, please do review. Sorry. <laughs> also, please blah, 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 blah. also please do subscribe and rate us on iTunes and Stitch Radio for the MBS Show Review and Discussion Podcast. Over there, you can catch me and Terra reviewing pony episodes, comics, and specials and movies. Sometimes we like to do other things than those ponies, and those are cartoons, comics, video games, and movies. So. If you if you do have those interests, do stick around. Follow us. Hey. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And also a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, Master of Lag, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. You got no idea how much i appreciate you guys like it's one of those things where every little bit counts and i appreciate it a lot like yeah i i appreciate it a lot thanks guys so anyway i have been norman sanzo <laughs> sorry um anyway uh, i have been norman sanzo yes that is true <laughs> and we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the mbs show see ya